Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going through the updated top 5 weight losses ever on my £600 life. Before we reveal our top 5 cast members, a quick word on our methodology. Since not everyone featured on the show starts the same way, it didn't seem fair to rank participants based on the sheer number of pounds they'd lost. More than a few cast members have lost a whopping £500, and since some of the people who've been on my £600 life actually weighed a little bit less than £600 when the cameras began rolling, a £500 weight loss would likely be deadly. At number 5 we have Sarah Neely from my £600 life season 6, where are they now follow up in 2019. Sarah's weight loss has been steady and ever more impressive since her debut. In her first episode, she went from a peak weight of £642 to a total of £392. Within months, she was down to around £320. Sarah updated her social media feeds pretty regularly during filming for her first follow-up, teasing her impressive success and revealing she was close to her goal weight, something her Where Are They Now episode confirmed. Despite suffering an awful tragedy, Sarah has effectively reached that goal. She's currently at £197 for a total loss of £445, or 69.3% of her peak. In at number 4, we have Paula Jones from My £600 Life Season 2, where they now follow up in 2015. Paula Jones has been so dedicated to the weight loss cause that she's actually founded and organised weight loss conferences for people to come together and share their stories. Paul's own story is a jaw dropper. She revealed on her 2016 surge anniversary that she's down to 142 pounds. That means Paul has lost an even 400 pounds from her peak weight of 542, or an incredible 73.8% of that weight. Now we haven't heard from Paula in a while, either officially or unofficially, but with luck that will change soon. And at number three we have Melissa Morris from season one. Melissa is the first My £600 Life cast member, as well as the one with the most appearances overall. Her peak weight was £673 upon her debut in the show's premiere episode, and last year during a celebratory appearance on Good Morning America, Melissa revealed that she still feels like that £673 lady every day when she looks in the mirror. In her 2016 Where Are They Now episode, Melissa struggled with keeping off all of the £500 she lost. But as we've seen from her latest episode and more recent media appearances, Melissa has been successful. She's the fourth My £600 Life cast member with a £500 pound overall weight loss, and Melissa's 74.29% loss puts her second among the entire cast. And at number two, we have Christina Phillips from season two. Now, season two star Christina Phillips comes in a close second for the My £600 Life biggest weight loss by percentage and by total weight. From the start of her weight loss journey to her 2013 gastric bypass surgery through to today, Christina has lost a total of £536 from her peak weight of 708. Since her most recent episode, Christina has revealed on social media that her current weight hovers around £172, meaning she's down 75.71% from her peak weight. And in at number one, we have Mia Clark. Now, we've been worried about Mia who spent the best part of a year in and out of hospitals ever since the first update on her at the beginning of 2018. Fortunately, now that Mia's most recent Where Are They Now episode has aired, we know exactly why she's been hospitalised so much. She's now undergone weight loss surgery, skin removal surgery and double knee replacement. But when Mia announced earlier this year that she'd lost the weight of three or four people since we last saw her, she wasn't exaggerating in the slightest. The season four star began her weight loss journey at 751 pounds. Mia is now down to her goal weight of £155. That's a loss of a whopping £596, or just under 80% of her peak weight. And with her standing ovation worthy weight loss, Mia also became the first My £600 Life cast member to officially lose the weight necessary to qualify for the show in the first place. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, do you think we've missed anybody out? Is there someone who deserves to be in the top 5 more than these guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section and we'll try to shout out as many of you as possible.